Have you ever been thinking, thinking, and thinking some more, and thinking, and thinking, thinking, and thinking all what you was thinking, and then thinking about what you was just thinking, what you was just thinking, and then thinking so much that you're thinking, that is your thinking confusing you? That now you're not sure exactly what you're thinking because of how much you've been thinking and what you've been thinking? My name is Mark Anthony Duvos Jr. And I was born July 4th of 1986. And I've been doing a lot of thinking this weekend. A lot of thinking and a lot of watching. And some more thinking on top of that watching to try to get a good understanding of more understanding, I'm going to say, of who is Mark Anthony DeBose Jr., born July 4th, 1986. And a lot of thinking I was doing led me to a lot of videos that I started watching. A lot of videos that I started watching allowed me to start to really, really think about what it is that I'm doing and what it, what it is that I've been thinking about. And then a situation that happened to me this weekend that really, really let me know, like, you think you're in control? And I'm telling you, 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 you are not in control. And uh, first off, what I want to say is someone gave me some very good insight on the understanding that Someone, someone's watching you. Someone's paying attention to you. And that's someone that's watching you and paying attention to you. It's someone that is needing a whole lot of help right now. Otherwise, they wouldn't be watching you and paying attention to you. Because who I am and what I talk about is what I talk about what I've been going through. And what I've been going through is, is ve hey guys, we're not, we're not eating, eating the grass. Let's get down. And Johnny, let's get down. It just makes you throw up. Get down. What I'm here to, what I talk about has been, has been things that uh, has been very, very damaging for me, has been able to allow me to be able to get out of very, very stressful, very, very complicated situations. So I know that if anybody is watching me, you're not watching me because you're, you're in reality ready for a laugh. You're ready for a giggle. You're ready for, for any, any, anything on that sort. You're, you're, you're looking for something because you're struggling and you're not exactly sure what it is that you're, that you're doing and what your purpose is and, and what you should be doing and how you should be doing and, and you're very, very confused. So for me to continue to do what it is that I've been doing, I need to be very, very careful on what it is that I'm saying and what it is that I'm doing because I know that words can damage people and, and me not knowing everything that's going on in everyone's lives, I gotta be very careful and, and very cautious in everything that I say and, and every terms and every way that I try to say it is to not try to take back from what, what, what it is that I'm doing, what, what I can say my, my business is, that a lot of information came to me this weekend about what is, this, what is my business for being on YouTube. YouTube, as soon as I start posting, I'm an official employee of Google in reality, and especially once they decide to start slapping those ads that hopefully I can be able to stop that so that doesn't have to happen. But uh, I, don't, I guess there's no choice in, in, in my case today that as soon as you hit a certain number that they just put those on there regardless if I want it or not. But as soon as they start doing that, I'm an officially an employee of Google. And being an, an official employee of Google makes you have to do things a little differently, I'm going to have to say. And not, not that, you, I mean, you can still keep doing whatever it is that you want. But just for me, me being a, a human being on this planet, there's certain things that I have to, to do and change and make sure that I'm, I'm a part of to make sure that I'm not just being the same as what everyone else is doing to try and get more people to just have a laugh and have a joke and have a giggle. That I, I want to be a person that's able to, to have you, allow you to actually be able to have a true laugh, to have a true giggle, to be able to actually wake up and know that I have something I have to do today and I got to get this done and be excited about getting that done today. That a lot of, I feel like, the route that I've been going with, what I've been doing since day one in, in reality, since the very first video that I up, uploaded was, is not a true representation of who I am and what my actual true business is and what my business is all about. And I'm gonna be making a drastic change from, from what I've been doing and, and moving into something that I know I need more, more to do because I know that who, who I am is, is not someone to just Make you make you make you have a quick laugh. It's it's been part of my entire message this entire time since I've been talking. Is I don't I don't want you to have 15 minutes of fun, and have 15 minutes to feel good. I want you to have the remainder of your life to have something to look forward to, so that you you can continue to keep pushing forward and pushing forward with making sure that you're you're able to satisfy your own self and you don't need other people to be able to satisfy you that you're able to take care of your own self you're able to get done your own self what your self needs and not reliant reliance upon everyone else around you to 
have to do for you so that you you are never able to actually like a good term is grow up you know a lot of us get stuck in feeling as if we cannot function we cannot do if we don't have someone on our back and on our side and and all around us at all times to be able to like encourage us to be able to get us to get to get to get moving where that's for me i want to say that we can step away from needing and relying on people that they're fun they're nice to have it's nice to have background it's nice to have some live cheerleaders out there uh, letting you know that you're doing good and letting you know that that what you're doing is is on the right right path and and letting you know that that they're proud of what you're doing but in reality that's not needed and even for me i come to realize like i never get that and yet i still keep going yet i still keep doing some things and i want you to know that the only reason i'm able to do that is because i understand who god is and i understand uh what he's all about and I understand w what the capabilities are of believing in, in something greater than yourself that's created yourself, that's created everything around here, that you're gonna start moving differently. You're gonna start seeing the world differently. You're gonna start having differences in, in, in your world. You're gonna start being a part of something that is, is, is not the norm. It's not the norm. I don't feel like I'm the norm at all with anything that I do out here and anything that I get done. I feel like people are constantly looking at me like, what, what, why, why are you doing that? What is this? And what's going on with this? And, and that's something that I, I feel like I, I enjoy. And, and I enjoy when someone asks me, like even today, I just had a conversation with a complete stranger on a part of the lake that just nobody goes here. Nobody goes in this section. It's, it's far away and there's no way to get to it. So when I see someone there, I'm like, hey, we, we are alike up front. I know, I know that we are super similar because you're in the middle of nowhere, man. You, you walked five miles to get to this point. And there's, it's, it's six miles the other way to get here and it's, and, it's, and it's five miles this way to get here. And you're in a, you're in a spot that only dedicated people go to because you're, you're going, you're walking today. And, and I know that we, we link up. We, we have a great conversation regardless. Well, we have this, we, we, have, we have that foundation about each other. And that's something that I realized that's, that's what I want to be able to be with anybody and anybody that's out here struggling, that's, that doesn't know who, who, who they are when they look in the mirror, who, who, who's confused with every time people they speak, they, who, who they speak to and people that speak to them, that they're confused with not sure, like, are you talking to me? Is that me? What's going on here? You're not, you're not sure how to even respond to people. You're not sure how to even get out and, and even order your own food and, and get your own groceries and get your own clothes and, and, and do your own stuff. You're, you're confused with it. At the same time, you're, you're, you're just kind of in the, in the rut of like, I don't, I don't want to do it. I don't care to do it. I don't, I don't, I don't want to clean my room, man. I know you tell me it's going to make me feel better, but I don't want to do it. I don't, I don't even know how to start to do it. And you can't demand me to do it. You can't beat me to do it. I just don't want to do it. And even if you did beat me, I, I still wouldn't do it. And I feel like I totally understand that because I've been in that position myself. I've been in that position where I just, I didn't want to do anything. I didn't, I didn't want to wake up. As soon as I would wake up, I would just go, hey Johnny, down. As soon as I'd wake up, I would just go right, right to sleep, get down. You act like it's been years since I've been telling y'all this. I hear you. I've been, been lean. Ori, let's get down too. I've been lenient this past few days. And that leniency shows. Get down. That leniency shows. And that right there is exactly what I'm talking about right now. Ori, get down. That sometimes you just, you, 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 you don't, you, you don't want to wake up. You wake up and you just want to go back to sleep. You don't, you don't want to go do no work. You, you want to, you see work and it just terrifies you. It just, it absolutely destroys you. It, it brings you to the point of, oh my goodness, like you don't, you don't know what to do with it. You don't, you don't know how to take those steps to get it done. And even if you say do know the steps, it, it, it slows you down and it messes, it messes you up even more because you know how to do it, but yet you just don't do it and you just can't get it done. And I, and I come to realize through a lot of, a lot of, a lot of information that I've been listening to and a lot of people I've been talking to this past weekend that I don't know who who watches me and it's not for me to try and damage that person for any anything in any way and for me to have a message that could be damaging in some sort of way even though I know it it could say help you but I don't know you and and the way, only way that I could 
really, really know exactly what to say is, is to actually be able to talk to you, is to actually be able to see you and to, to get a good understanding of what you're going through and what's happening with you. That I don't, I don't want to put out a, a vague message to just destroy people because that's not at all what I want to do to anybody on this planet is I don't want to destroy anybody. I don't want to make anybody hurt. I don't want to make anybody sad. Even though I know that that will happen, I won't be perfect at never saying a message that never gets into your feelings and make you feel like you're not doing enough. But that's the thing. I want you to just know that, that you're just maybe not doing enough, but not that you're not doing anything and not that you're just so worthless. Because I know what worthless is. I know what, what the concept of feeling that and being that and, and knowing that that's all that I am inside. I lived that my, my majority of my entire life. And I don't want anybody in that. And, and my business here, being here, doing what I'm doing here, out here with what I'm doing and everything that I'm doing. I mean, everything I do out here, even my work out here, my chicks I raise, my cows I raise, my, everything that I do, work with my dogs that I work with. Everything I do is to be able to help me get away from the worthlessness feeling. And then me coming on here and speaking to this camera and, and trying to get a better understanding of my own self has been able to help me get through this worthlessness. And in reality, I feel like the, the one thing that has been able to fast track me with it is, 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 this, is talking here, is communicating here, is spreading this out so that someone else can see it. And that may be some of my ego term, whatever, to just have me out there so that you could see me. But at the same time, I'm not, I'm not excited to have you watch me if, if, you're not, if you're not wanting, willing, caring, needing to be able to get in a better place. Like I need you to need you to want to get in a, in a better place with what is that's going on in your life day to day. And that's something that I've come to realize that my business here is to make sure that people get get in a better place. And that's why for me a lot of my especially my first videos when I was I was on drugs, people. I was on drugs and all my first videos that I was making that I can I can tell when I see it. I can see a, a high level of rage and even this past week videos, I've seen a high level of rage inside of me that I'm not, I'm not happy with. I'm not happy at all with the amount of the anger, I guess, I felt like I had. That's not really anger, like mean, but, but a lot of frustration. Johnny, let's get down. A lot of frustration in me. Johnny, down. Frustration in me that was just, that was not needed. That's, that's not called for. That's, that's very inappropriate. That, that I should, as a man, be able to just, you know, let it go and let it be. Even though what I'm trying to speak is trying to speak something good and something great. But if there's frustration behind the good talk, it's just a frustrated talk. It's not really something that, that's going to help. And all it is is going to just destroy people in reality. And that's not at all what I want to be a part of with my business being here. That my business being here is to make sure that you're able and I'm able, that we're able to be able to upgrade our lives and not stay in the same. And part of that with my main message that I speak is, is the concept of, of knowing who, who God is and what he's all about for me. That in reality, yeah, that's, that's the only thing that's, I'm gonna say thing just like that. That's the only thing that's been able to get me away from my destructive ways. And even this past week to, to today of feeling a little a little fast, like I gotta, I gotta move, I gotta move, I, I gotta move to just slow me back down again, to just say it's Johnny down, to just say it's, uh, it, it, there's no rush to get anywhere, but at the same time, no rush to pay attention to what's around you. Cause something very serious happened to me this weekend that it's, it, it put a lot of thought in me on, I say don't rush, but yet the situation happened to me that, that let me know that I, I don't need to rush in a certain way. That there's other things that I need to rush towards and other things that I need to not worry about because it's not in my control. But this weekend, I, I, saw, I saw one of my, well, this is unfortunate, and I still don't know how to handle it other than me just knowing that this happens. And this isn't the first time that this has happened to me, but this happens. That something that I've been caring for, something that is, is, is awesome to me, something that, that I, I, I really appreciate it. Cause it gave me baby. It gave me a baby. It gave me food. Like that food's gonna be ready in two years. It gave me food. That I saw a cow go from running around looking good and just super happy to just dead. Just died. Just just died. Just I saw that and I was just like, how do you go from from just 
looking all good, looking all right, everything was okay, eating away and, and munching and doing what you're doing to just waking up dying. And it let me know, like, I got to be very, very careful on everything that I say and everything that I do. Because if I say the wrong thing and then I just pass away, then, then that's just what's left for me. That's just, that was, a, that was the enemy. And everyone would just have a, that's who he was and that's what he was about. And that's not at all what I, I, I want to be. I want to make sure that every single day, every single time, every single chance that I get a chance to be able to speak to somebody, that I'm speaking something to you that is, is, is impactful, that's powerful, that's, that's able to assist you and help you and not try to make you feel like you're not doing enough and you're, you're lacking in this and you're lacking in that. When I, I know I ran into the situation that I feel like a, a lot of people run into that I'm no longer feeling certain ways that it's like now I feel like you, you gotta just do it in a heartbeat and you gotta get it. But at the same time, you gotta do something. If you, don't, if you decide not to do anything and if you decide to just destroy me, I've got no choice but to just push you away at that point. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna communicate with you anymore. If, if all you wanna do is come at me with just trying to harm me and, and try to do everything in your power to just sabotage me and do everything even more in your power to try and just slander me and try and do even more in your power to just not do anything that you know you need to do. That was, hey Johnny Down, that was requested to you to do that you just, you don't do. Johnny Down. That's something that I want to make sure that every time, every, everything that I'm doing is, is said correctly and it's done properly and not just in a ramble, not just in a, in a rampage to just try to get a point across real fast so that I can, I could just, just be satisfied. I, I got that out and just move on. And that's not at all who I am. And, and for me, I've been doing a lot of thinking on my, my, my content, my business, what it is that I do out here and what I do. And I've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of studying, and a lot of, a lot of just praying about what it is that I do with, with my business here. And what it is that I do is something that I'm going to say this the way that it's been able to help me. And, and the way that the people that I watch, the, the channels that I watch, the channels that I pay attention to, these guys talk for two hours every day. Some of these guys are two and a half hours every day. And, and especially years ago. I needed that. I had. I needed that. And when they would say, you know, I got to head on out of here, I'd be like, hey, man, you, you don't have to. You, you could talk for another 15, 20, 30, 40, 40, 55 minutes. I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with you. Just still, still keep going. I, I appreciate what you're saying. I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate what's going on here. And I would always say, you ain't got to go, man. Just, just keep talking. Any, I know people got families. I know people got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. But I got more time. And I, and I realized that's, that's what I watched because I needed that. I needed that. And even still to today, I watch two people in specific that I, I watch all of their stuff every day. And I, I do listen to my stuff at yeah, 1.75 times and sometimes two times speed to allow me to get through it a little bit faster. But I watch the whole thing and I, I watch all of it. Last night, I was just watching another one of, my, one of the videos from another guy. It was, it was two, two hours and 40 minutes long. I, I watched the whole thing. I listened to the whole thing. And, and it, it it's there for me because I, I needed that, that I, I, especially years ago when, when I, I needed it. I needed it because I was just so, I didn't know how to stay in my own thoughts. I didn't know how to function on my own. I didn't know how to, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't trust myself alone. I didn't trust myself in my thoughts. I didn't, I just didn't, I didn't, I was struggling. I, I was hurting. I was hurting to the point that if I was just in silence for 15 seconds, I was already ready to, to harm myself. I was already down that path. So I would find people that have something great to talk about, even if it's farming. A lot of stuff I watch is some farming videos, guys talking about planting gardens and, and taking care of some chickens and creating your own food. And, and they'll talk for two hours. And, and uh, I, I needed that so that I could stay in that, that I could stay focused with that. And I know that that with me, with myself, with who I am, that if you watch me and you, 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 you pay attention to me, you need that same thing that you don't know what to do. You don't you don't know how to even think. You, your thinking is just so messed up that you, you're not even sure what's going on here. You're not sure what's real. You're not sure why this is going on. You're not sure why that person could possibly do that. How this person's over here. Hey, Oreo, you you way you way wrong, homie. Let's get down. You're not sure how to how to get anything done. 
you're not sure how to stay focused on anything for more than five seconds. You're not, you're not sure where, where, where to go at all. And, and that's for some people to have certain forms of content on here so that you can see what they're doing. You can hear what they're doing. You can, you can get a good understanding of what's going on around them, knowing that they're not perfect because nobody is. Knowing that when they stand at that and look at that camera and say, I don't know who I am. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing every day. I don't have this master plan of knowing that I got to this and I'm going to that and everything is going to be done and, and I'm gonna, I got everything dialed in. No. And I think that that's why, for me, I fall in line with a whole lot of farming uh, uh, care people that like farming. That they, they weren't born and raised doing it. They just started doing it. They just all of a sudden one day, the same way as me, started one day, just said, you know what? I want to get on some land. I want to start farming. And even if you don't get on some land, you just get some buckets in your backyard and you just start putting stuff in it and you just start watching it growing. You start to build little little flower beds and you just start start guard, start putting stuff in it. You just start with a little pot in your house and you start putting some basil, some thyme and some some parsley, some oregano and you just start watching it start growing. And you just started doing that. And then you just, it just gets addicted to you. You just get addicted to it. You get addicted to it because it, it can force your thoughts into doing something. It can force your thoughts into staying away from whatever it is that's going on over there. And it can force you to just stick right here and just stay right here. And it, 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 it transforms you because it's, it's this. This to me is like this is all God. This is this is this is what he's all about is is doing this work and playing this work and making all this work. For me, it was the chicken that really got it got me going like the goats were <laughs> goat, goats were a handful. They 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 put a lot of stress in me. They put a, a lot of stress on me, but at the same time, they, they, they put me in the thick of it right away as far as what I want to do is farming, that I want to be able to raise large animals, not just small ones and not just gardening, that I want to raise like large, like that small flock I had was enough experience for me to run a hundred head of cows right this moment because of the infrastructure of what I had to do and, and the, the system that I had to implement. It, it grew me up really fast. It put me right in it right away. And, and for me, it was that chicken. That chicken was able to allow me to start creating chicken coops. Like my first one I could see right there that I built and I put that together. That I, I would always play with blocks and connects and constructs and all these little things as a kid. And then now today, I have a reason to use all that and, and do, make it on a bigger scale and be able to house animals in it and be able to move it along so that they could, they could have fresh food to keep on having every day and, and just, just taking care of them. That, that really that really upgraded my life it, it really it it really slowed me down and it, and it and it just it made me start to love myself more because I started to take care of myself more and I feel like that's the thing behind a lot of this this work and it's not work the first day you're gonna be hurting your back's gonna be hurting your legs gonna be hurting your hands gonna be hurting everything's gonna be hurting you're not gonna have the right gloves on you're not gonna have the right shoes you're not gonna have the right pants you're not gonna have the right hat you can be hurt. You can probably go get sunburned to the point that you just, I'm not sure if I can do that no more. But that's the start. Your hands is going to be sore. So sore that you're barely going to be able to use them. They're, you're gonna, I don't know if I can go out there the next day. But yet, you still do. Because you look at what's going on and you just see, like, I got, I got more I got to do. I got more that I need to take care of. And, and you want to take care of it. And then you just fight through that pain. And you get it done. And I feel like the, there's something behind, I don't know what it is, but there's something behind that. That a lot of us run away from it thinking that it's work, thinking that it's gonna it's gonna be too much. That I still just feel like I don't meet anybody that that says that. That they're just so happy, like they we get obsessive about what we do. When I go over there and look at my chicken, it's like, dude, you're going crazy. You go you you love to have more and more and more. You're just going crazy. When I got over 350 in there running around, it's like that's that's I don't know, but for one single guy, a single guy, that's enough food for me for like freaking 10 years. In reality, if I just eat how I eat and how I cut them and how I process them and how I package them, that's it all. That's just too much. But that's just what we all do, or at least the people that I watch, that I pay attention to, that I see, that I, I come to people that 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 I feel like I need, and I feel like that happens to us on the YouTube. That a video just pops up and you're just like, wow, let me check that out, and you just you, you get there and you get consumed, you get stuck in that, you stay in that, you don't know you don't know how to get out of that. And you just want to learn more. You want to hear more. And I know with me, that's something that, that I had to take a good lot of, a lot of thinking going on this weekend of I'm that same type of way. I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not a quick fix. I'm not a have fun for 10 minutes and then move on and, and watch your life still be in shambles and be struggling. 
I, I'm someone that, who wants to, from the day one of my, not day one, but a couple months ago of my message, I'll say, that I, I want you to be able to have long-term success. And I know that there's some ways to be able to have long-term success with what's going on out here. And I know some ways to be able to, to help you, guide you, hey, Ari, let's get down, to help you and guide you to be able to get you to long-term success. And, and I don't want to be just, just one of the others, one of, one of, the, one of everything else. I, I'm, I'm me. I'm myself. Do I wake up and I'm just like, yeah, I know who I am. I know I'm going to get done. No, I don't. I don't. I don't at all. I'm very, very confused about who I am and what it is that I need to be doing. I'm very, very confused. But I can always, being out here on this farm doing what it is that I'm doing, I can always put myself to service for something else that I see needs help. I, I always have something out here that needs some help, always. Like even my pig who's staring at me from over there right now, he's like, dude, man, you just standing there, you gonna, you gonna give me some food? I can put myself to service to him, to say, hey man, I got you. And I'm not gonna get no backlash from him. That, this, this working with these animals is where I'm gonna say you're gonna get unconditional love back from them. That whatever you give to them, they're just gonna love you more and more and more. Where sometimes, and most times, working with other human beings, we don't quite get that. We, we, we give them more, and, and yet they, they, they just, they, they want more, and then they, they'll fight you, and they'll be mad at you, and, and, and they'll be all this. They'll just have all this drama going on. But I know that with the animals, and I know that with veggies and fruits and, and, and herbs and spices and all that, the more that you give it, the more that they appreciate it, the more that they love it. And that's where I just have a good understanding of how this and why this is all God's work. This is all his. This is his. And everything that you work with with his is always going to be able to bring you up. It's always going to be able to put you and bring you into a better place on this planet. It's always going to be able to uplift you. It always will because it's unconditional love. And that's exactly who God is. He loves us no matter what. He loves us even if you are struggling and damaged and, and doing ruthless things. He still loves you. And he's not going to not love you because you even want to try to damage him and try to slow him down. He's just going to say, you know what? You, 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 he may push you to the side over to say, you know, just do what you do over there. But I'm here for you still. If you need me, man, just call on me. I'm right here. I'm always right here. And that's how he is. And that's how I just have a good understanding and see with working with these animals. These dogs, even though they be pushy sometimes, they, they just like, they, they like to give attitude sometimes. They're an they're a interesting animal because they're, they're so human bred today that they're starting to act like humans. And that's where I can see the frustration that a lot of people get with their dogs inside of their homes is because they act so much like you. They act so much like you that you're just like, and, and they act like you in the ways that you, you don't like. They, they do all the stuff that you don't like. They're the mirror image of everything that you're just like, I wish I didn't do this. And then you see your dog doing it. And then, then you get confused because you're like, you see your kids also doing that. And then you're just like, how is this possible? But at least with your kids, you can communicate. With your dog, if you don't know dog, they're going to frustrate you. They're, they're going to they're gonna really, really upset you. And, and that's where you call a dog trainer. He'll help you out. But, uh. That's where, no matter what though, with them, you, you give them more. You give them more, you feed them more, you pet them more, you hang out with them more. They're gonna, they're gonna love you more. They're gonna really, really appreciate you more. Hey, Oreo, let's get down. They're really gonna they'll wanna do more for you. They're really gonna care more for you. They're, they're gonna just do more, always do more. They're not gonna just look at you with you giving them food day after day after day. And him, like Johnny man here, that I just give him food every day, food, food, food. He's not going to look at me two years in and just say, you know what, Mark, forget you, man. I don't like you. I don't care about you no more. No, he's going to say, hey, man, give me some more of that food. He's going to continue to want more of that food from me. He's not going to look at the next person even. And I even witnessed this being in, in the dog training school. It was, it was an absolute phen phenomenon that someone had a dog that they was working with that they rescued. We all rescued all our dogs in reality because we're working with rescue dogs. Rescue is a horrible word. We took dogs that someone else didn't want no more. And we started working those dogs. And someone had a dog. A guy had a dog. And he was taking care of the dog. And then all of a sudden, a girl was like, I want to adopt that dog. And can I actually just take that dog for the remainder of the course? And he already had that dog for like a month or so. He'd been feeding it, playing with it, having fun. Built the bond up. They were awesome. But yet, when she started feeding that dog, the dog at that moment wanted nothing to do with the other guy. He... he he wanted nothing to do with the other guy. The first guy there that it was taking care of him, loving him, feeding him, doing it. The dog was just super happy with who was feeding him. And that, I don't know why, but that's just an absolutely amazing thing to me. That just lets me know, like, 
how, who God really is, who, what he's all about, that we're feeding him, we're feeding him, and he's not going to go nowhere. He's not going to just disappear from us. He's always going to stay there. We're praying, we're praying, and we're asking, and we're doing, and, and we're, we're doing everything we can in our power to try and get closer to him, try to have better understanding to him. He's not going to just leave us. He's not just going to say one day, you know, no, no, I know you've been praying and praying, so... You know, I'm just going to leave you alone now. No, he's going to drive closer and closer and closer. And the more I keep feeding these guys, the closer and closer and closer they're going to get. And I know that for 100% fact, especially with my Johnny man, that he's going to be excited here in a couple of months. And not even, not even about a month and a half from now that the reason me and him got a better relationship was because of the food that I was able to give him. When I started processing those chickens and I started giving him the excrement and giving him just all the extra pieces and giving him hearts and lungs and livers and, and gizzards and this dude fell in love with me. He's like, dude, I, I could do whatever you want for that. He calmed down in this kennel because of the food I gave him. He stopped trying to run and go rambunctious and I had to stop, stop even putting a collar on him anymore because they used to always have an e-collar on this dog out here because I was always scared. I was scared like, ooh, this boy is wild. He is, he is wild. And... I stopped that literally two or three days after I started feeding him this food because he just would look at me like, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Not begging. What's up, Mr. Ralphie? There's the dang squirrel running, running right here. Not, 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 not in a begging way where he's, he's going to start putting, putting teeth on me or putting pressure on me to be able to try and get what it is that he wants. But he was just like, he would just sit and wait like, hey, man, you got some more of that? And then when I ran out because we didn't have any more, he was just like, cool, you know, I'll just go back to the other food. And he still gave me that same respect. The respect didn't go away. He, we upgraded our existence because of food. And that's something that I, I come to realize I build that same type of relationship with God when I just keep praying to him more and I keep asking to him more. And I know that that's what I want to be able to be a person to be able to help people out with, not telling you what you're not doing and can't do and haven't done and not getting this done and not that and not, not able to do this and why aren't you doing this yet and you need to move on that and why are you still doing the same old things again it's it's i know why you're still doing the same things again because it's hard it's hard and and not even just that word hard but you don't even know where to start and not even just that that you do know where to start but yet you can't start it you can't change it you, ca you can't even force yourself to do it you have no willpower and you'd even be, even even be able to get it done and that's something that we need to have a really good just understanding that we, we stuck. We get stuck in places. We get, we, we get super stuck. And a, a term that I like using better than stuck is we get sticky. We get sticky in things where that's a dream I used to have as a kid a lot. Just get sticky. I, I get to the point where I'm trying to run, but I get, I get sticky. And for me, it was, it was like a, a quicksand. I couldn't go faster. I, I was just slowing, slowing down to be able to move. I got sticky. And, and, and once I started to get a little stronger and get a little, get a more resilient, I was able to, to lose that stickiness. I was able to just go ahead and, okay, now I can jump out of it. Now I can get going. Now I can make some things happen. And then what happens when you start going, you, you fall back into that stickiness because you're still there. You still got it on you. It's, it's still slowing you down. It's still holding you back. But even though you're making moves forward, you, you're still like, man, I'm stuck. I, I still can't quite get there. And that's where I still feel like I am. I'm in that same scenario still to, to today. And I will be for the remainder of my life that I make strong moves to be able to move forward, to be able to do this and make this jump and make this leap. But I, st I still got something that's like pulling me back. That's like, nah, dude, nah, nah, you, you, you still you're still here. Don't think that you're going to go over there. You're still right here. And, and I hope and I pray. And I pray a lot that I can lose that stickiness so that I can be able to just make leaps forward and don't have to ever look back. Make a massive leap and actually just make it and not be stuck back there. Like if I did anything wrong that I just 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 boomerang right back and just 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 go right back to zero again, that, I, that I'm nowhere again. I hope that I can be able to get to the point that I, I could just start making those leaps and making those jumps. And, but I know that just for me and especially just what I've been thinking about and what's been going on with me this weekend is I'm never going to be able to, not never, but I'm never. If I'm doing what I've been doing, I'm not going to be able to make those leaps. I'm not going to be able to move forward with doing what it is that I need to do if I continue to keep doing what it is that I, I've been doing. Because what I've been doing is, is not, not a true representation of who I want to be for, for God. And, and I know that God had put pressure on me of saying, that's not a good representation of me. 
that that's not what I'm about. That's not, that's not what I do. That's not how I am. And in, in reality, there may have been a day and a time that he was like that, that he was pushy, that he was ruthless, and it's all written. But there was a day and a time that he said, I'm, I'm here now, and I came here to change some things, to move on to some things, to be able to do things a little differently. And I feel like that's gonna be the progression of me where I'm gonna do things differently. And my change is not a change of trying to get it faster for you, not a change of trying to make it more, more, more harsher for you, make it more controversial for you, but a change in making sure that I'm able to slow down and really know that I know that you're struggling. I know that you're hurting. I know that you're damaged. I know that you don't know what to do. I know, I know. We all, not all, but we all are in some sticky situations like this. And it's gonna be for the few that decide that, to just accept that and just say, I know I am. I know I'm hurting. I know I'm not doing what it is that I wanna do. I know I'm not where I wanna be. And I wanna, I wanna figure out how I can do something about it, how I can change that. And, and that change is not an overnight success change. That change is not even a couple of weeks or even a couple of months. It's gonna be a change that you have to keep on working on forever. And it's a change that you, you wanna be, be a part of because it's a change that's gonna be able to upgrade your life and, and make you not be stuck and be sticky and feeling like you can't make any moves and feeling like you're not, you're not able to to do, make any progressions because you just, you, you, don't, you don't know what to do and you don't know where to go and you don't, you don't have anyone to talk to and you don't have anyone to even listen to and you don't, you don't know even where to start. That some of us need to just, just find that start and find, find a way to be able to just get, 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 a little, get a little inspiration through something and then be able to just say, you know, maybe I could try that, maybe I could do that. So I'll say the change that I'll be changing with is still continuing my talks and adding the little things that I do around the farm and why I do it on why we need to worry about housing chickens a certain way that I like to. I've seen what everybody's doing. I've done a lot of ways that everyone's doing, but I've just got a way that I like doing it now that I've seen that, that just, it's cool. And I like watching the guys that, that, are, that are in different countries that don't have luxuries that we have, that they don't have electric, they don't have running water, and, but yet they gotta do what they gotta do. And that's why their hatch rates are 98% because they, they can't mess up. They, they gotta be perfect. And they, they, they've done a lot of experiments and they've spent a lot of time on being able to get their stuff real, real good. And, and I, I like modeling what they do. Not, not what we do here, where we're just like, oh, it's good enough. And oh, we just do it like this and, and you know, half may make it. And it's just for me, that's, that's, not, that's not acceptable. That I, I wanna go more. And I wanna be able to show more of what it is that I do with little things that I do, of what it actually takes to be able to be more free in what you eat and, and have something to eat that you know is, is real, you know is right, you know, you, you know what it is. You, you're, not, you're not nervous of where it came from and, and what marinade is on it and how long it's been sitting and, and any of that. Because I got chicken that I'm still eating from two years ago that someone would say like, oh my God, two years, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you this here right now that majority of all the food that's in the grocery stores is already a year old before it even gets there. It's been sitting frozen in container ships and container boats sometimes way more than a year way more than a year, way more than two years. It's already been sitting there. And then they'll bring it into the store and say that it's fresh and they'll start dethawing it out and then put it there and say it's fresh. And then from that dethaw out time, then yeah, they've got about 20 days to be able to get it sold. And they're gonna tell you what, what they wanna tell you where you're gonna have something where you're gonna eat it differently. And I can, I'm gonna tell you that I know that something's weird about all that because the, the chicken that I dethaw out that I've processed over two years ago and I eat it, it tastes fresh. It, it's weird, it's, it tastes like I just just did it. It tastes like two weeks old still. It still tastes fresh, because it's real, and there's nothing added to it, and there's, there's no chemicals involved with this, and, and I wanna be able to, to show you more and more of, of what it is that I do to be able to preserve and to be able to have what it is that I have. And, and with that, I wanna start new projects of my own to start experimenting even more with different stuff, 
You know, I've been doing chicken a lot. I, I don't know what it is about me, but I just like raising me some chicken. I, I like chicken. When I see my chicks in there and I go add to their waters and add to their feeders and do all that, I could put the big feeder in there, and, but I like going in there four or five times, six times a day and just, just checking up on them and just filling it up. I like just doing that. I put more work on myself just because I enjoy it. I like it. I, 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 I love it. I love taking care of them. I love seeing these little, little things that already today, well, we're at day four now, that they already have their wing feathers already starting to come out. And it's, it's just so cool. It's so cool to watch day by day, hour by hour to see what's going on with them. I like them. But there's also some other things that I want to work on. I like me some jalapenos and I like me some onions. So I need those two to start get going. And that's something that I, I want to start getting, start getting more experience with to start, start being able to show you what, what, what is, what is out here? What, what, what can we do out here? What, what more is out here that it's not just uh, death and destruction that that does happen that is there that is part of it stuff happens like that and it's very unfortunate but it's 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 to me a a life lesson in reality of of making sure that we're doing what it is that we need to do all, every moment every moment making sure that we're always always taking care of what we need to take care of at every moment. We're not slacking. We're not just sitting around. We're not just hanging out where we're getting stuff. And we're, 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 we're dialing in and, and being focused and, and dedicated and getting things done. And, and that's for me to be able to help someone who isn't quite at that stage of even knowing what to do, that you're still just sitting on the couch or thankfully you even have a couch, hopefully, but you're just sitting, you're just somewhere. You're just, on the corner somewhere where you're, you're not sure what to do or how to do or even how to just even take a step forward, even even be able to get moving. That I, I want to be able to hopefully say something at some day that's able to just get you to go a little bit. And you're just like, I, I could try that a little bit. I, I can see what happens just just a little bit and not feel discouraged. Like it's, it's an impossible task to, to get stuff done because what, what it is that I do out here, it's 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 no one's taught me this. No one's shown me this. No one's waking me up in the morning outside of my roosters that yell at me. Oh my goodness, they go at 3.30 now. Like, I don't know what's wrong with these guys. And an unfortunate thing is they're right there outside of my bedroom window and, and they just scream. And, but outside of that, no one, because even before them, no one, no one is, is, hey Johnny, let's get down. No one is, telling me to get this done and do this and get that. No, no one's doing, done that. It's, it's all been all for me to, to figure out how to make happen and figure out how to, how to force myself to do what it is that I gotta do. And I know for some of us, we, we don't, we're not even able to get to that point. We're not able to do that. We're not able to force ourselves to even do that. We, don't, we, don't, we didn't grow up with that in us. Where I did, I grew up with some parents that, that, that showed me a lot. That showed me how to get things done. That showed me you have no choice but to get things done. Like, get it done, man. Let's go. Why are we still not done with that? And I appreciate that. But that's something that is kind of like a, a dying art. I'm going to say an art because it, it's a dying skill. It's dying creativity that's going away from parents teaching kids of get it done or else. And some people are just like, oh, that's so evil and that's so mean. But yet we got a whole group of people that don't know how to even get, any, get, a, get a single start going. That when I say to clean your room, you're looking at your room like, I don't, e I don't even know what to start with. Like, I don't, e I don't, I don't even know what to do first. Do, do I do the shirts? Do I do the pants? Do I do socks? Do I? Uh, hold on one second. We good? It's just the lights on in there. Or is there something else going on, homie? Are we good, Oreo? Sorry, when he get the barking, I gotta be checking. He he uh he my my true outside farm protection dog. He lets me know what's going on. But like you don't know what to start with. You don't you don't know what what basket to use. You don't you don't know what cleaner to use. You don't you don't know nothing. You don't you don't know you don't know how. You don't know how to even to, to do the first step. And and it's not for me to come in and just tell you just clean it up, figure it out. It's like no, you, you might need some help with just that first step. That first step being grab you a basket and, and pile it all up and stick it in there. And you know, if you don't have a basket, pile it all up, stick it somewhere and, and grab you a bed sheet and throw it all in that bed sheet and carry it out and take it to the laundromat. If you don't have a wash and dryer in the house and find you some quarters, find, I don't think they use quarters anymore. Unfortunately, you got to use a, you got to use those cards. They'll make you prepay up front today and get you a little card. Cause I used to have to do that. 
I didn't always have washer and dryer. I'd take them out there. And even when I moved out here in the farm, I was in a real jam because I didn't have washer and dryer or nothing. And uh, at, at that time, I was, I was broke on broke. So I was washing clothes. And that's why I got this, uh, thankfully, one was already set up out here, a, a hanging, hanging rack. And I put some 550 cord on it. And I was washing my clothes in the washing machine. Hey, Oreo, we're good. We're good. I was washing my clothes in the in the in the uh, in the in the bathtub, just swishing, swishing, and then drying it out, wringing it out, bringing it out here to dry, and having to iron every single thing. Because when you wash your clothes like that, it gets super wrinkly. I mean, crazy wrinkly. It's hard to not get a wrinkly. It's a super wrinkly, and you got to iron everything out. And I was doing that. And hey, Oreo, we're good. I got that door open. I don't know why you staring at this door like something's coming out of it. We good to go, man. See? That's a, a little a little too insecure for me there, buddy. That was, that was a little too insecure. You need to build that a little bit better for me, homie. All right, let's everybody get down. Everybody get down. Dang, Johnny, get down. Y'all only work if I get loud, and we're going to work on that. We've been trying to work on that, but this past month I haven't been working on that. Oreo down. We're going to get back on track with that for sure because I'm tired of tired of being fast. I'm tired of being loud. I'm tired of being anxious. I'm tired of being frustrated. I'm tired of being all that. I'm just tired of it. And I'm going to do everything I can to, to get away from that and stay out of that. And, and that's, that's, that's a, something that I'm going to be continuing to work on, that I'm not perfect. Everything, I ain't got everything together. I still got things that are broken down or struggling around me. I still got things that are, that are damaged around me. I still got things that are just like him barking at this door because it's slightly open and he can somewhat see inside. He's just a little insecure. That, that's him being insecure. And it's the same thing with my shadow man back over there that he, he's a little insecure. So with that, that lets me know that I got some insecurities in me that I'm still working through, trying to figure out, trying to get, trying to get past. That I just, I, I have a very good understanding that, especially this, this dog here, that I am, I am very, very, I don't even know how he can see that, that car. He, he has no direct line of access, but yet he knows when there's a car driving down, coming down the driveway or their driveway. It's, it's, it's kind of a phenomenon that I'm trying to figure out. Hey, Shadow, all done, man. Hey, Shadow, all done. Shadow, all done. I got to get on it before he gets too long in it to let him know. That car ain't going to hurt us. That car ain't going to hurt my baby chicks. That car ain't gonna destroy nothing on this property. This car ain't gonna destroy him. This car ain't gonna destroy me. Car ain't gonna destroy nothing. The only thing a car is gonna do is destroy him. Because unfortunately, I lost my first pair of knees to a car getting destroyed, getting ran over. And that's something that, look at you, Johnny. Y'all, uh-uh, uh-uh, Johnny, get up, get out of here. Get out of here. I told you not to eat that grass. Y'all eat that grass and just throw up. I'm not giving you no more steak at night. Y'all keep wanting to throw it up. I ain't gonna give you that to throw it up. My dogs don't do good on steak. They only do good on chicken. They don't really care for that beef at all. It's a, it's a very, very weird thing. But if your dog's eating grass, it's because they're trying to throw up. And uh, I've come to just let them do it, but I, I don't like looking at it, so it's, I don't, it's, it's nasty to me. <laughs> I think all throw up from all, all things life is, is really nasty. But uh, yeah, I just, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for today, for, for being able to, thank you for this weekend, for being able to allow me to be able to do a whole lot of thinking and, and, and allow some people to speak to me, to be able to share some insight with me about what it is that I should focus on, what it is that I really need to start dialing in and dialing up on, and things that I really need to stay away from. That in reality, I'll be like even cleaning house on a lot of my videos that I have to make sure that I'm not represented in a certain way that I don't want I don't want, uh-uh, okay, get away from it now. Come here. I don't want to be re represented in a way that someone would uh, want to want to get more, see, see, see me hyped up and see me angry and see me frustrated and see me in any sort of way because that's not at all, you know, that's, I'll say that's where I started. But in reality, a, a good business practice in, in life is to, is to get rid of the first 20, 30, 40% of what you used to do and, and then start moving on again. And then cleaning house with every 20% every once in a while. So you, so you just keep on going because you're changing, we're evolving, we're getting better, we're moving into something different. And that something different is to make sure that 
Uh, I'm not out here to, to, to damage anybody, to call anybody out, call any names on anybody. I'm not here to try to destroy anybody. I'm not here to, to get in your feelings, to try to make you move and make you react. That's something that I, I know very well how to do, and I've, I've been done that my whole life. But obviously when I look around today, I understand that that's not the way to be able to, to do anything for anybody because I don't have anybody around. I don't, I don't have anyone I speak to on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't have anyone that, uh, that, that, that really, really knows me really well that we are, we are together in any sort of way. And, and uh, I, don't have, I don't have no kids around. I don't, I don't have no nothing around. I don't have no family around. I don't have no friends around. I don't have no acquaintances around. So the more that I know how to be able to push people's buttons, the more that I know that that is the way to make sure that you can, you can have people for a little bit and, and utilize them, I would say, for a little bit, but not something to be able to uh, keep people around, to, to allow them to want to even stay around that. And, and unfortunately for me, most cases, I, I, I unfortunately just push everybody away. And that's one of my biggest problems that I have on, on why I still research what I research, because that's something that I, I do. I do. I don't know what it is about me that I do. I mean, I do know what it is about me, but that's not something for me to, to talk about on camera here. That's, that's a more personal conversation with people that, that really want to get to know me and really want to uh, try to get to know themselves even at the same time. With certain things that I talk about, certain ways that I talk, and certain, certain things, you're going to say like, man, I kind of do the same stuff as you. And I'm like, I know a lot about you then, unfortunately, but fortunately that uh, we, we got some things that we need to work on. We got some things that we need to be able to get past. We got some things that we need to acknowledge that that's going on with us so that we can actually start to figure it out so that we are not just doing things on default mode. Because there's a lot of things I used to do that I just did that I didn't know I did that just 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 was mean to people, was, was evil, I'm gonna say. It's not even mean, it was evil, it was downright evil, just doing things and, and saying things and trying to get people to do things. and. It's just, it's just evil. So I just, I just want to say thanks for, for the opportunity for me to be able to understand what it is that I want to be able to move to and, 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 and slowing myself down to making sure that I'm representing something that I truly want to be a, a representation of, that, that I, I want to make sure that you're, you're, you, don't, you, don't look, you don't run away from God because you hear how I am and how I talk and, and how I think and how, 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 what's going on here. That, that it's, it's, it's not a true representation of, of who he is and what he's all about and what he's able to provide and what he's able to do for you, that, that he, he's absolutely incredible. And, and he's, not, he's not this, you gotta get it done now. He's not this, he's gonna force you here. He, he, he's not. But I'm gonna say something that when you, when you wanna try to get closer to him, you're gonna start getting challenged. You're gonna start getting challenged because there's things of the flesh that you've been doing your whole life. There's things out here that you've been just focused on and, and in and, and dedicated with that you've been doing that you, that you need to let go to be able to elevate your life. And when those hard times come, you're going to want to be able to talk to someone who's been gone through those hard times, who's continuing to go through those hard times and be able to know that they are, they are there for you, that they're not there to just try to, try to demolish you, try to, try to back talk you, down talk you, try to do anything to you, that they're there to, to uh, upgrade you, that they're there to, to help you out and guide you because they've been through it and, 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 and it's for them to, and me, but them, me and them, to be able to help you out and let you know that you're not alone and let you know that you can get through it and give you some pointers and some ticks and tips and tricks to be able to uh, get you past what it is that you're going through. And, and because I just do know that the closer and closer you wanna to start to get with God, the more conflicted you're gonna start getting on certain things that you're doing. And, and I'm thankful for that because it's allowed me to be able to get away from a lot of selfish things that I've, I've been a part of out here, like drinking too much and smoking too much and uh, playing around females too much and just, just trying to take everything as mine and not trying to, to share and give too much and just being very, very inappropriate with how I use my resources and trying to hold on to it for myself and, and leaving people in the dark just because I want it. And that's something that I've come to realize that I had to make a massive change from that. I can, I'm fine with nothing. As long as the people around me have what they're supposed to have and have what they get what they need, I'm fine if I have nothing. I've got enough. I've got enough. I've got food. I've got, I've got enough. I, I can make it work. I can always make it work. And that's something that, that I, I, I've been able to get my work on with myself with, get through myself. So that when, when you run into the same situations, when you're trying to get closer to God, that you're able to know that things are going to come upon you, that it's not the enemy, it's not the devil, it's not the Lucifer, it's not none of that. It's you. It's just yourself doing things that you've always been doing. And for me, I get a good representation of that when I see these, especially these dogs, 
because when I do something new to them that they've just never done, they're always like, I don't know, man, this is, this is, this is, this is weird. And it, they're not refusing. They're not rejecting it. They're just saying, this is different. This is, this, you're going to help me through it? And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm going to help you through it. I got you every day, step by step. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to get you through this and everything's going to be all right. And that's something that I want to be able to make sure that I can do the same with, with human beings and not just these, these, these dogs that when you start struggling, when you, when you decide, you know, I'm going to quit this because I don't, I don't like it no more because it's, it's, it's not even, it's not something that anybody's going to tell you to quit. It's just going to be something inside of internal you. The more you start to try to pray, the more you try to pray, the more you start praying, the more you start asking, the more you start trying to get away from damaging things that are going on with you, the more that this stuff's just going to start hitting you. It's going to start hitting you hard. It's going to hit you hard. We're just going to say, okay, we'll stop doing this right here, man. That right there is slowing you down and it's not giving you what you want. And, and you got you to start digging deep at that. You got to start getting firm with that. You got to start saying, okay, I, okay, I'll work on that. I'll get on that. And knowing that you can get through it and you can get past it, even if in the moment you don't know what to do. You don't know where to start. You don't know what it is that's even going on. But something's going to come to you to say, hey, tr try this out. Stop this. And you want to you listen to yourself. And at the same time, you want to figure out how to be able to understand, listen to yourself the correct way. Not listening to the damaging, but listening to the, the positive that comes to you. And I'm just, I'm so thankful to be able to be a part of this world, to be able to, to, to be here and be able to do this. Because challenging things come to me, and, and I, I've known the only way to be able to get through some challenging things is by praying and asking. And, and that praying and asking has, has gotten me really far so far. And I, I want to keep on going with that and keep on bringing more people around and letting more people know what it is that, that I've been able to get through and being able to get past. Because praying and asking has gotten me really, really far that another human being in reality hasn't. Someone's had a word here and a word there. And there's been a lot of people and, and a lot of content that I watch. A lot of people I still watch today that I watch a lot. I watch a lot because sometimes I'm just like, I'm not sure the direction that I want to take. And I just listened to them for two hours and I'm like, okay, now, now I can, I heard, I heard some of that. I heard that now, now I can, I, I got a little more insight. I can, I can, I can try now, you know, I can do a little more now. I can, I can make something happen now. And that's something that I also want to be able to do for someone else where I, I would, I, I would always be every time they had a video posted, I'm like, I'm watching it right now, right now. It's only been up to 10 seconds and I'm watching it and I'm watching it. I'm that, I'm that first guy. Yeah, they got, Four million subscribers, and I'm that first video watch. I'm the first one. I'm, I'm on it, and I want to make sure that I'm, I have that for someone else who ever needs it. Because I don't know who watches me. I don't know who pays attention to me. But I do know that if, if you do watch me and you do pay attention to me, that something is going on, that you, you want some help, and you need some help. And I feel like we all on this planet in reality need, need some help and, and want some help. But only some of us actually like will stand up and say, I need help. And I need help now. Only some of us do that. Not many. Most all just act like everything's okay and act like their lives are so perfect when they're struggling so much, when they're, they're, they're hurting so much. And, and, and I would like it for, for more people to just stand up and say, I need help. I need help. You know, sometimes when I'm sitting in a restaurant and the waiter or waitress doesn't want to come give me a refill, I just raise my hand up and I say, I need some help. I don't care who it is at this moment, but that person's not doing their job and I just need some help. I need some help because I'm thirsty. I've been eating this food, it's spicy, I'm burning, and I'm thirsty. And I need some help right now. And we need some people to just stand up and just say, I need some help. And that's a, that's a hard thing to do, but that's a big thing that we need to do. It's just, I need some help, man. Please help me. Because I, I don't know what it is that I need to, to do right now. I don't know what it is the first step to even take right now. And I just, I just need some help. And, and I want to be a person to be able to just hey let's try this out man and see see where it goes and then then just see what happens and with that said i want to head on out of here i gotta make me some hamburgers tonight i've been eating the heck out of my ground beef and tonight i feel like making hamburgers and, and uh just just trying to enjoy more and more and trying to upgrade my life more and more and to be able to have a good understanding of how to how to improve my life to be able to improve other people's lives so that I can be able to do more of what it is that I know that I, I want to do on this planet. And, and for me, it's not getting a better car and, and a better house and a, and a better none of that. It's to make sure that you're, you're good to go. 
I want to make sure that you're good to go. And that's why for me, I got to change everything I've been doing and change everything I've been about and start doing more of a different change of other stuff that I know you, you, you need some help with and you, you want to also see because I, I do some pretty cool stuff out here, I feel like, even if it is just digging a ditch to put power to my uh, barn in the back that I spent over two weeks every day, two hours a day of just digging, digging, and just digging and digging and digging. And I needed that at that time. And that's something that I, I want. I challenge more people that if you don't know what to do and you're just at home and you're just going crazy, like fi find you a farm, find you, be a farm help. Get, get out there and, and start doing something with that. Working this land and working out here, it transforms you, it upgrades you. like insane it just upgrades your whole existence of life it really does especially if you're not born and raised a part of this if you just never done it you just never been around it you've never been around a cow in your life before just get around them and just sit with them and just hang out with them and you're gonna you're you're, you're gonna it's an upgraded feeling of life and and it's just it's absolutely amazing and i just want to say thank you let's see what you threw up homie